Hello everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel Easy Mathematics. Our target is to find out the solution of the ordinary differential equation. But this ordinary differential equation for any solution exists or not and if the solution exists then the solution is unique or not that sense is required more. So that before knowing how to solve a differential equation we should come to know the existence and uniqueness criterion of the solution of the differential equation. So at first I am giving you the structure of a differential equation. So here it is dy by dx is equals to f of xy. This is the function of xy dy dx is equals to function of xy. This is the general form of a first order first degree differential equation. This, this equation we can also write as m dx plus n dy is equals to 0. This is just the another form of this one. We can derive this one from this form only. We just multiply dy dx from dy and dx we should multiply this side and we can rewrite in this format. So here m and n are either the function of x and y or it may be a constant. So this is the differential equation. Now for this type of differential equations the solution exists or not and if it is exist then it is unique or not for that we have the existence criterion and the uniqueness criterion. So let us at first go for the existence criterion. The solution of the differential equation this is the differential equation dy by dx is equals to f of xy. This f of xy if it is bounded continuous and single valued function over a given domain D then we can say the solution for this differential equation exists. So actually what we have done from the given differential equation if we write dy is equals to this function into dx and after that if we integrate this entire thing then defi definitely this is the integrating constant will be incorporated then after this integration if this fxy is integrable on the given domain d then the solution of the differential equation exists. We know the another form also for the differential equation which is this one. So from here also if we integrate entirely then we shall find out this one from where if we can say that m and n both are integrable then we say that the solution of this differential equation exists. So this is the existence for the differential equation. Now the uniqueness criterion for. So the uniqueness criteria for we can say that the solution of the differential equation dy dx is equals to f of xy is a unique integral curve through every point xy in the interior of a closed rectangular domain D in the xy plane if the function fxy and its partial derivative with respect to y that is del f by del y both are continuous function in the domain d that is basically the Picard's theorem. So what Picard's theorem actually says for the initial value problem dy by dx is equals to fxy where the initial condition is yx0 is equals to y0 within the rectangular domain with uh, width and length a and b if f of xy is continuous in R, mod of f of xy is less equals to m for all xy belongs to R and f of xy satisfy Lipsy's condition in R. Then there exists a unique solution in the interval x minus x0 mod of x minus x0 less equals to h where h is equals to minimum of a comma b by m this m is this one so this one is our picard's theorem here i say in the third condition that it should satisfy lipsy's condition so at first we should come to know what is lipsy's condition so lipsy's condition says that a function fxy uh, defined in a domain d is said to be satisfy lipsy's condition with respect to y in domain D there if there exists a constant K such that f of x comma y1 minus f of x comma y2 less equals to K into mod of y minus y1 y1 minus y2 
and here this k is called the Lipschitz constant. This k is the Lipschitz constant. So that this expression we can rewrite in this format mod of f x comma y1 minus f of x comma y2 divided by mod of y1 minus y2 less equals to k. This is nothing but the partial derivative of f with respect to y. So that we can write del f by del y is less than equals to k. So this is our Lipschitz condition. Till that we come to know about the uniqueness and the existence criterion of the differential equation. It is very simple just precisely we can say if the function fxy is continuous and integrable then the existence criterion will satisfy that means solution exists and if the derivative of fxy with respect to y that derivative value exists and it is continuous then we say the solution is uh, unique. So all those things with some example when we explain then we can understand that if a differential equation is given then how to find out that its solution exists or not and it is unique or not. The criterion the theorems all is known to us now and with some example we are going to uh, understand the topic quite better. So the first example is dy dx is equals to x plus y square and the domain is given 0 less equals to x less equals to 1, 0 less equals to y less equals to 2. Here if x y is equals to x plus y square this we should denote by equation number 1. Now if we take the partial derivative of this function with respect to y then we shall find out del f by del y is equals to 2y. Now very obvious that this function is continuous and this function for if we take the mod value that means the derivative partial derivative of f with respect to y we get 2y. If we take the mod value of this one then we shall find out this one is equal to 2 into mod y which definitely less than equal to 2 into 2 minus 0 because the initial condition here it is a given that y should lies in between 0 to 2. So y0 y1 we can say 0 and y2 we can say 2. So that if we substitute we shall find out 2 into 2 minus 0 which is less equals to 4. So it is a bounded condition therefore it is the Lipschitz condition also. Therefore fxy is continuous it is very obvious because it is the polynomial function it is continuous in the given domain hence the solution of the differential exists differential equation exists and from the second criterion which is the Lipschitz condition from there we can say the solution is unique for this given differential equation. It is so very simple. Similarly if we go for the second example then if it is given x dy dx is equals to 1 and the initial condition is given y0 is equals to 0. Here dy dx is equals to f of xy is equals to 1 by x we can write. So f of xy is equals to 1 by x which is not exist at the point x is equals to 0. Therefore we can say f xy not continuous at the point x is equals to 0. Therefore, at y 0 is equals to 0, no solution exists for the given differential equation. So, one more example for you that is root over of dy by dx is equals to cube root of y where x lies in between minus 1 to 1 and y is equals to 0. For this solution, given dy dx is equals to y to the power 2 third because if we just simplify, we shall find out in this way. Here, f of xy is equals to y to the power 2 third we can say. If we take its partial derivative with respect to y then we shall find out 2 by 3 into 1 upon y to the power 1 third. Therefore fxy is continuous because this function is continuous for all y values hence the solution exists. Again this function does not exist at y is equals to 0 because at y is equals to 0 this is undefined hence the solution is not unique. So for this given equation solution exists but it is not unique. One more example let us do. So the example is given dy dx is equals to mod x. Therefore f of xy is equals to mod x which we can write as x if x greater than 0 and minus x if x less than 0. If we take the derivative of this one then definitely it is 0. Therefore fxy is continuous and hence the solution exists. 
and day left tail y also satisfies the Lipschitz condition. Here, if we take the mod value, then it is less than equals to zero always, so it satisfies Lipschitz condition, and the solution is unique also. So the solution for this differential equation exists as well as it is unique. Let us do one more example. It is dy by dx is equals to x into mod y. Here we should prove that del f del y does not exist if x not equals to zero. So for the solution, given f x y is equals to x y when y is greater equals to zero and is equals to minus of x y when y less than zero. Just look at the question. Accordingly, we can write this one. Therefore, its partial derivative, if we take with respect to y, then it will gives us x when y greater equals to zero, and it is minus x when y less than zero. Therefore, if x not equals to zero, then del f del y does not exist, is it now? So this one is the solution for the given differential equation. Now one question I am giving you for your reference. This is the do by yourself question. So the question is dy by dx is equals to two root y. Where y zero is equals to a. Now, among these four conditions, which one is true that you are supposed to give me the answer? So, the first condition is unique solution if a less than zero. No solution if a greater than zero. Infinitely many solution if a is equals to zero. And again, unique solution if a greater equals to zero. So, I hope you can understand what is the uniqueness and the existence criterion of the solution of a differential equation. And you should solve this equation, this do by yourself equation, and write its answer in the comment box. Okay. So, I hope you understand and have a nice day. Thank you all.